subscribers welcome back thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos may god bless you i really appreciate you much but if it's your first time here in my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends there is something i've been noticing for quite some time now if you remember samantha's story a namibian lady who traveled from namibia to italy to meet her italian boyfriend <laughs> by the name of ricardo and then was abandoned at the airport ricardo never showed up the biggest mistake that samantha did was being in contact with me without letting me know of what was going on and another mistake that Samantha did was knowing about my YouTube channel but never watched enough of my videos. So if you have subscribed to my channel but you have not been watching enough of my videos, please, please, I advise you to do so. There is a lot, a lot of information that even if you are in contact with me and you want an advice i can't give you all that advice that is here in this youtube channel it's a lot it's gonna take lots of time before you get all that information but if you sit down watch the videos carefully slowly by slowly they are going to help you very very much in your search yes because i've been seeing you guys you come across my youtube channel here on youtube immediately you are into my dms and be like bella i really like your videos on youtube you're doing a great job i tell you thank you so much so you keep on with your search maybe there is a guy wrote to you you chat with him <laughs> all good good when things goes bad that is when you come back to me and start being like oh bella this happened oh Oh, Bella but when I listen to your story everything that you are telling me if you could have watched my videos then all that could not have happened to you that so. takes us to our today's video guys but before we jump into our today's video if you're someone who gets angry so quickly please I advise you to take a chewing gum and start chewing because you're gonna get angry <laughs> while you're watching this video <laughs> but at the same time you know bella i always smile and try to cheer you up <laughs> and also some situations and if they are sad they are funny at the same time <laughs> so you're gonna be laughing too because there is a lot of afro cinema in this story so too as this video as this video is going to be a story time of a Tanzanian lady, my own homegirl by the name of Annette, a single mother of one in her late 20s who found love on online dating apps with an American guy by the name of Joe. After finding love, all was going great. That is when they decided to start planning to meet in person for their first meeting and that was after three days of knowing each other on that dating app but guys what happened on their first meeting it's gonna shock you it's gonna make you so angry <laughs> like i told you before but at the same time learn lots of things so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this love story right now so dear friends we are going to be starting this love story by getting to know a bit of Annette's life background and what happened why is she a single mother of one so guys Annette tells us her past love relationship experience yes was in a relationship with a Tanzanian guy actually this guy was way way more older than her the guy was 52 years old and Annette at that time was 24 years old. They dated for one year and after dating for one year, the guy wanted to marry her. You know, age is just a number. <laughs> so Annette took the guy to the parents. They did like an introduction party. All was good. And then started planning for the wedding, <laughs> the big day. So as they were doing the plans to get married, 
then the guy told her you know what i'm going to get married to you but as a third wife because i've got two wives already oh my goodness it was a shock for annette never expected that I told him that i cannot be the third wife i cannot do such kind of a relationship the guy was like no annette i'll give you everything you're going to live in your own house everything alone it's not that you're going to be living with your co-wives <laughs> But Annette insisted that she cannot do such kind of a relationship. Can't be a co-wife of nobody. But at the time that she was refusing to be a co-wife, was already pregnant. Even if I am pregnant already, I'm not going to get married to you as the third wife. So eventually they ended that relationship and it was really, really hard. Super, super hard. Cause was dating that guy and knew that she was the only woman in his life. So guys, after ending that relationship with the father of her kid, he continued, you know, taking care of her while pregnant. And later on, the pregnancy came to an end and it got this cute baby boy. So after getting her cute baby boy, so he kept on taking care of his son, but the love relationship between them had ended already. So time passed and you know, and it was very young, being 24, needed a guy by her side, a guy to love her truly and accept her with her baby boy. So guys, due to loneliness, Annette decided to start dating Tanzanian guys. But tells us it wasn't easy at all. They could play her very, very much, betray her, and some of them could just date her to take her goodies. <laughs> yeah, they were only interested in goodies. <laughs> you know, dating a guy and then this guy only looks for you at the time when he wants the goodies. <laughs> so those were the situations that Annette came across. And after going through lots of heartbreaks, that's when she decided to say, no, I can't keep on like this. I'm so fed up with Tanzanian men. I am going to date international. Maybe the situation is going to be different. Maybe I will be treated right. Maybe I will find someone who will love me truly and accept me with my son. So yes, guys, Annette joined online dating apps in 2018, then started searching, but her search wasn't easy at all. Still could come across players, guys who could ask her for nude photos, guys who only wanted to waste her time. Annette never gave up, kept on trying and trying and trying, hoping to find someone serious. So guys, after four years of being on online dating apps, Annette came across my youtube channel last year 2022 that is when she watched some of my videos liked them so much and decided to write to me on instagram <laughs> yeah so after writing me on instagram told me a situation what she went through with tanzanian men and also what she went through on online dating apps so i was like bella i want you to help me why is that i'm not getting anyone serious on online dating apps so what i told her is to pay for my channel membership and then i'm going to assist her you know set her profile and guide her also find a solution why is that Annette has been on online dating apps for four years but is not getting anyone serious is not getting messages from serious guys also told me after being on online dating apps for so long reached a point she was not getting any messages from anyone so after me telling her about the membership yes guys Annette decided to pay for the membership and I remember very well I went through her online dating profiles I really really helped her very very much and also recommended some new dating apps for her to try out and guys like you know when you come to me on Instagram or here on YouTube I've been recommending to you different dating apps so among the dating apps that I recommended to Annette to try out 
was okay cupid <laughs> yeah so decided to join okay cupid and because she had cute cute photos could get lots of messages from guys on OK Cupid. So guys, among the messages that Annette received, there was this American guy, and it tells us the guy was so cute, so juicy. <laughs> Because after receiving his message, that is why she decided to go on the profile, try to see his photos, and I was like, oh, the guy is cute. <laughs> <laughs> decided to respond to him and immediately they clicked so guys after they clicked everything was flowing their communication and joe immediately wanted annette to get to know him better so told annette even about his job was like annette i am an american like i told you or like you saw on my profile but about my job i am a doctor omg <laughs> when annette heard that I was like wow this is really good so joe asked annette too what do you do for a living tell me a bit about yourself and because annette was really impressed <laughs> by how joe introduced himself she started flowing about her life, telling him everything <laughs> concerning her life and what she does for life. She is a businesswoman. She was just into small business, but the business that Annette did could run her life smoothly. So I think there you understand. So guys, all was going so good. They even exchanged WhatsApp numbers and immediately the guy could call but just a normal call not a video call yet after three days of chatting calling each other on a normal call a voice call joe told annette that annette i really like you so so much and i really want to see you very very soon i can't wait any longer i want to come to tanzania see you get to know you more and also get married to you. <laughs> so guys, as Annette was telling me this story, or oh, Annette tells you that when she heard that from Joe, was like, yeah, I've hit the jackpot. <laughs> you know, getting married to doctor, <laughs> a white guy, a cute guy, young. <laughs> <laughs> yes guys but i told you that is how we are women <laughs> you remember the swahili proverb i told you days ago someone who bewitched women <laughs> died long time ago <laughs> so in this situation we need to use this proverb <laughs> Yeah, but Annette was over the moon, full of happiness that eventually is going to meet this cute guy that she had started to fall in love with him already. Another mistake. I told you guys, do not fall in love with these guys that you meet on online dating apps before you start seeing the actions. Not words, guys. Not words, but actions. <laughs> So yes, after talking about him going to Tanzania to meet Annette for that first time, then Annette was like, my love, I would really like to see you on a video call. We have never made a video call. And this reminds me, there is an interracial couple here on YouTube, a very famous couple. <laughs> they are way more, more ahead of my channel. <laughs> One time there is a lady I was helping on online dating apps and I told her it is important. See a guy you are chatting to on a video call but she brought an example of that interracial couple here on youtube that that they met on online dating app started chatting and chatted chatted till the end till they met in real life without making a video call and everything is going great they are married now they have got kids <laughs> yeah so she was like but bella i don't know this couple it happened maybe a video call sometimes it's not important but please keep watching this video till the end and that is when you will get clear answers that it's so important 
to see a guy on a video call. And when you ask for a video call with a guy you are chatting to, you should shine your eyes. <laughs> yeah. So Annette requested for a video call from Joe. Joe was like, okay, I'm gonna call you in the evening because right now I am at work. And it kept on waiting for that video call, but <laughs> Joe never called on a video call, never that day. He kept only chatting, sending messages normally. <laughs> And for that day, Annette never insisted that, please, I want to see you on a video call. Till the next day, that is when again, Annette was like, yesterday, you had promised to call me on a video call. What happened? After asking immediately, Joe decided to call her on a video call. But attention, guys. Annette tells you that that video call was the strangest <laughs> video call ever because <laughs> when joe called and she started talking it's like she was seeing him on the tv something like recorded because you know when you talk like now i am talking the words that i utter out they go with a voice and you see the lips <laughs> how the lips moves but that video call that joe did could hear the voice, but the lips were moving differently. <laughs> were not uttering out the same words that she could hear. And asked Joe that, Joe, this video call is really strange. Joe immediately had to end the call and told her, my love, it was network. Maybe that is why the video seemed strange, but that's me, that's how I look. So I know right now, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're not clicking off this video. <laughs> Even me, guys, when I was listening <laughs> to Annette, there is a point I just wanted to delete all her message. I never wanted to go till the end because <laughs> I already knew what was coming next. But don't click off yet. Keep listening because we have lots of surprises. <laughs> in this story so after that they kept on chatting messages and it ignored everything about the video call <laughs> decided to forget about it <laughs> and move forward <laughs> and the day ended then comes the next day so when the next day came joe came with great news i've got a leave from work this is my leave letter I am coming to Tanzania and when she went through that leave letter because later on sent her the photo of that leave letter she could only read the words that Joe is allowed to travel come to Tanzania to meet his girlfriend and then get married <laughs> after that could not understand other words because they were in very small small letters that she couldn't read asked Joe Joe was like don't worry my love when I come I'll bring the letter so that you can read it for yourself not on the phone and it said it's okay no problem so apart from the leave letter joe asked annette if she has got a bank account and annette was like yes i've got a bank account so joe told her i want to send you some money that we are going to be using while i am there in tanzania so send me your bank account number so that i can send you that money and annette did like how joe told her sent him her bank account and after sending that bank account after like two hours joe called her and was like i've sent you some money into that bank account and the amount of money that joe told annette that he sent to that bank account was 15k us dollars so when he told annette about the amount of money he deposited oh my goodness and it was like all oh, that money joe told her yes don't worry my love don't worry my wife i'm coming for you <laughs> that is our money we're gonna have fun <laughs> she was like okay no problem but after annette waiting for five hours never saw any money told joe i have not seen any money what is happening joe told her do not worry my love that money is going to come it's because it's lots of money so maybe it will take some days 
So, Joe planned to travel, go to Tanzania the next day. And Annette was over the moon, very excited that the boyfriend is going to Tanzania to meet her from America. <laughs> so, the next day, what happened is that Joe disappeared completely online. And what came into Annette's mind thought that maybe Joe, because told me is traveling, he has traveled, so that is why he is not available. When he arrives, I'm sure he's gonna call me. <laughs> so she kept waiting and waiting, and then in the evening, Joe called her, was like, my love, I'm so, so sorry, I did not travel like I promised you. Happened an emergency in the hospital, so I had to go do an operation. <laughs> and it was like, how comes you had your leave already? Joe said, Annette, remember, I am a doctor. Anytime I'm called, I have to run to the hospital, even if I am on leave. So she was like, oh, okay, so what are you going to do with the ticket? Because had bought a ticket already to go to Tanzania. Tanzania. Joe told her, don't worry about the ticket. I am going to buy another ticket. Money is not a problem. So yes, guys, after two days, Joe was ready to go to Tanzania, even took the photos, suitcases packed already, <laughs> and also sent her his ticket to Tanzania. But that ticket had one problem. Annette lives in Dar es Salaam, but Joe's final stop was in Mwanza. So she asked Joe, why are you not coming in Dar es Salaam? Was like, that's the ticket that I got. But after arriving in Mwanza, I will take another flight to Dar es Salaam. So do not worry about that. And it said, it's okay, no problem, my love. So they chatted, told each other, you know, sweet words. <laughs> love birds you know when people are in love <laughs> yeah so that night was really really good and then the day for joe to travel go to tanzania came so when he started his trip told her that i have started my trip to come to tanzania but if you see me offline just know i am in the flight but when i go out at the time of connecting flights i am going to let you know and it was like okay no problem i wish you a safe trip and yes guys when joe reached doha wrote to Annette and was like i'm at doha you know took a video showing her doha airport and it was like oh my god <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Thank you, God. So she kept on waiting and again, Joe went offline, meaning has boarded his flight to Mwanza, Tanzania. So at around 10 p.m. Tanzanian time, Joe landed in Mwanza Airport, <laughs> Tanzania, then wrote to Annette and it was really happy that Joe eventually has arrived. So now she was, you know, preparing to welcome him in Dar es Salaam. So after Annette talking to Joe, telling him how she was so excited to meet him the next day, Joe told Annette, I want you to send me some of the money that I sent you. I have to pay for the hotel and buy some food because I am super, super so tired. I just need to refresh, eat and sleep. So when Joe told Annette that, oh my God, Annette was like, I have not seen any money yet. The money has not arrived. Joe was like, that money, maybe it's going to take lots of days. Let's keep on waiting. But right now, what you need to do, you need to help me because I'm really, really tired. Send me some money to pay for the hotel for tonight and food then tomorrow we will see so Alice was like i don't have any money to send you jaws like you have to help me what am i going to do am i going to stay here at the airport till tomorrow no you have to look for a way and Annette tells us 
had her savings <laughs> she had like three hundred dollars <laughs> of savings so she had to take a hundred and fifty dollars send it to joe so that he can pay for the hotel and buy food so ask to joe how am i going to send you that money joe was like i'm going to ask someone for the phone here at the airport and then you send me via mobile money and that's how joe did after 15 minutes sent her the phone numbers where Annette is supposed to send that money through mobile money. So if you're not a Tanzanian watching this, you have never heard of mobile money. Yes, in Tanzania, we have got mobile money banking. So you can send someone money via mobile money and then they can withdraw that money through mobile money agents. That is how we do things. Even in Kenya, Uganda, <laughs> most African countries, though in Nigeria, I've not heard of something like that, <laughs> and Ghana, but most African countries, even Rwanda, they've got mobile money services. So after Annette received that phone number, decided to call the number <laughs> and told joe why is that i've called the number but it is not going through joe was really angry at her told her i did not tell you to call that number i told you to send the money after you have sent the money please screenshot the message of the transaction and send it to me so and it was like oh i am sorry and she sent the money after sending the money screenshotted the message of the transaction and sent it to Joe. So when Joe received the message of the transaction, what happened? The guy disappeared completely online. And after disappearing, Annette was really, really worried. Like, what is happening? This guy has never been to Africa, has never been in Tanzania. Oh my God, I hope nothing bad has happened to him. And it tells us at that time, her aunt was at her house, came to visit. So told her aunt about the whole situation. And the aunt was like, don't worry, just go to bed because never wanted even to sleep. Was really worried thinking of Joe. Her aunt told her, go to sleep, relax. Maybe because he's very tired because of the trip, he must have gone to the hotel and took a rest. So you need to rest too. Tomorrow morning, you are going to communicate with him or he is going to call you. That is when Annette decided to go to bed and have a rest. Before I go further with this story, dear beautiful ladies, I even said in the last story that I told you about hope. The problem with us black African women, when a guy tells you I love you, it's the end. <laughs> you no longer see anything. You forget the red flags. Whatever this guy tells you, you believe it all. <laughs> you get drunk in love. <laughs> that is really, really wrong. Never allow a guy to take a control of that relationship. You need to have a say, I repeat, I told you. <laughs> you have to question. If something is not clear, question the guy. You deserve clear answers from that guy. But you leaving the guy, decide on everything, start controlling you, that is when they get the power to manipulate you. So let's continue with the story. So in the morning, that day Annette woke up very early, you know, cause wanted to hear from Joe, know what really happened. And around 10 a.m. that morning, Tanzanian time, Annette saw Joe online and decided to call him. When she called him, he peeked and was like, I'm so sorry, my love. I was so, so tired. I had to go to the hotel, refresh, and then sleep. So that is why I did not get back to you. And it was like, I'm so sorry. I understand. Then Joe again was like, Annette, have you seen the money? <laughs> And it said, no, I have not seen the money yet. Joe was like, what are we going to do? I can't stay here at the hotel because I paid only one day. That means I have to go back to the airport. Please do whatever you have to do so that you can send me the money for the ticket from Mwanza to Dar es Salaam. Because when I come, we'll go together to the bank and find out what happened. Why is that the money that I sent you did not come? 
because all my bank accounts are blocked right now i cannot use them so please do something even if it is going to borrow some money from people that you know borrow that money when i come we are going to pay back the money but i have to get out of here so after talking to joe was really really frustrated confused and didn't know what to do didn't know where to get the money but joe could keep on insisting and begging her to please help him get out of mwanza <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Annette had to talk to her aunt that aunt what can we do my boyfriend is stuck in Mwanza and like I told you the whole situation please help me if you know anyone you know in Tanzania uh, there are these women groups whereby they borrow each other money they call it Vikoba <laughs> If you're Tanzanian, then you know what Vikoba means. <laughs> yeah. So Annie told the aunt that can we please go to your friends, you know, that you borrow each other money so that they can borrow us the money. <laughs> and the amount that Joe wanted to get out of Mwanza was $350. So Anity's aunt was like, okay, let us go to my friends and talk to them. She had to go to those friends and ask them, but they did not get any help. They did not get any money. At the same time, Joe was sending messages continuously. My love, you're my wife, you're my everything. And that's why I had to do all that it takes to come to your country so that I can get married to you. You know you are very beautiful and I can't stay far away from you. Once I am there, everything is going to be fine. We are going to enjoy life. I'm going to get married to you. We are going to America together. So Anit too, due to the words that could hear from Joe, she could get like, you know, a push or pressure. <laughs> <laughs> to keep looking for the money eventually tells us had this friend this guy was a motorcycle guy you know in tanzania or in most african countries we use motorcycles and tuk tuk to travel you know at a cheaper cost so that guy had his motorcycle uses it for business to transport people and they pay him so Anit had to run to that friend and be like can you please help me there is this situation with my boyfriend please i'm looking for 350 dollars if you can lend me that money i'm going to pay you back but that motorcycle guy or a border border guy we call them in swahili told her Anit, i don't have that money but don't worry i have a friend who can help us so they went to that friend that friend had a shop and after arriving talked to the friend the friend was like i can give you that 350 dollars but you have to bring your motorcycle card and we have to write an agreement you know <laughs> that if you don't pay me this money within three days then i am going to sell your motorcycle okay <laughs> looked at Annette, and it was like yes okay and it was sure that she will pay that money back before three days because joe will be in dar es Salaam already so the guy gave them the money and Annette it was really happy then communicated with joe was like joe i've got the money where can I send that money? Joe was like, wait, I'm looking for someone again here at the airport and then I will send you the number so that you can send it via mobile money. I know you're angry at Annette, right? <laughs> but we have not ended yet. <laughs> The Afro cinema continues. So as Annette was waiting for the number from Joe, Joe was sending her sweet messages. Like when I arrive there, I'm going to hug you so tightly. I'm going to treat you right. I'm going to kiss you. Oh my God. Telling her, you know, um, those words that we as women loves to hear sweet words and these people are so so clever they really play 
with our psychology. He talks to you, he chats with you, he reads you, he studies you. That is why I've been telling you two guys, study a guy you are dating. You will understand better if that guy is the one or he is just playing mind games. So these people really reads our mind and reads what we really want what we really want to hear. So he was showering her with loads of sweet words. <laughs> After knowing that Annette has got the money, I was like, tomorrow I am there and it's gonna be a party. <laughs> and again, Joe repeated that. When you send that money screenshot, I want to see the screenshot of the transaction. So Annette sent the money and screenshotted the message of the transaction, sent it to Joe and was like, I've sent the money. This is the message of the transaction. Joe was like, thank you so much, my love. I am going at the shop because the person who gave him the number worked at the shop at the airport. So I was like, I'm going to the shop of the guy so that I can withdraw that money, buy a ticket and then come. So he went and then again wrote back to Annette, told her that Annette have not seen the guy and they are telling me the guy left the airport. What am I going to do? I regret coming to Tanzania, me coming to your country. Then I start facing all these problems. He started crying. Then Annette was like, but Joe, why can't you call your bank so that they can allow you to use your bank cards? Joe was like, you don't understand. They can't open those bank cards now. Then Annette was like, why can't you call your parents in the United States so that they can send you money? He was like, they cannot help me. Annette, you're the only person to help me. Once I am there, I'm going to pay you back all the money, but you have to help me, Annette. Look for the money so that I can get out of here. Then Annette was like, that means you have been scammed by that guy at the airport. So I don't know how I can help you. He insisted, Annette, please help me. You have to sell anything. Even if it is selling your furnitures, sell them all but I'm going to pay you back once I am there. We are going to buy all the furnitures that you sold <laughs> in your house. So at this time, Joe is telling Annette to sell her furnitures. What can I sell or what can I put on bond so that they can give me money? And this time, Joe wanted 400 US dollars because told her, I've talked with someone here at the airport, the immigration officer, told me, yes, there are some tickets from Wanza to Dar es Salaam, but $400 is needed for that ticket. So please hurry up and make sure you send me that money, my love. I know right now you're like, I hope Annette did not send any money. I hope Annette did not sell anything in her house. Please, Annette, stop. That is what your mind is telling you to say. <laughs> I was thinking of that too while listening to her. I really got angry. You know when you're angry and you start feeling hot. <laughs> that is what happened to me. I was super angry. I wanted to just call her and be like, why did you do this? Why? <laughs> but it had happened already. So let's keep on with the story. So when Annette looked around, decided to take her TV, tells us she has got a very big TV, 75 inch of the television, decided to take it and put it on a bond. Then they gave her 100 US dollars. But remember guys, Annette is not selling her TV. She only put it on bond to get that $400 and was supposed to return $600 <laughs> within two days. If she does not return that money, then they're going to sell her television. So yes, they gave her that $400 and she called Joe, told him I've got the money. Joe told her send it. She had to send that money. Joe was like, okay, right now I'm going to buy a ticket and tomorrow morning I am coming, but I'm so hungry. I don't know what to eat. I don't have any money with myself. I don't know where I'm going to sleep. Maybe I'm going to talk to these people at the airport so that they can give me a room to sleep. 
till tomorrow. And it was like, I'm so sorry that you're going to sleep hungry, but I no longer have any money. And at that time, and it tells us really felt so sorry that the love of her life is sleeping with hunger. <laughs> my god online dating apps guys shine your eyes so guys i know right now you're asking yourself did annette make another video call with this guy annette tried her best to ask the guy for the video call but whenever she could ask the guy could be like annette how can you ask me for a video call are you kidding <laughs> with all these problems how can i even talk to you i'm so confused right now i'm so sad of what is going on i can't talk to you so he could be on that you know defensive side not wanting to talk on a video call and it could be like why are you becoming so aggressive when i tell you let's talk on a video call he kept on insisting he can't talk with annette on a video call due to all that is going on he is so sad so down so she better wait when he arrives in dar es Salaam. so yeah they talked just a normal call and in the morning the day for him to travel arrived but before that let's talk a bit about the motorcycle guy that man of the shop that took the card of the motorcycle was calling the motorcycle guy telling him the days passed i am going to sell your motorcycle can you imagine a motorcycle that was bought is going to be sold just like that at 350 dollars so the motorcycle guy started pressuring Annette. Annette, i need that money because i'm going to lose my motorcycle and it was very very frustrated and those people didn't wait for joe to arrive they wanted that money at that same same moment so yes guys because annette didn't have money with herself cash decided to take her freezer and also put it on bond so that they can give her some amount you know to calm down that guy of the shop so that he cannot sell the motorcycle of a friend guys and it tells you that it was a very very complicated situation and i can imagine guys so the time to board came for joe joe started you know checking in <laughs> to board and as he was checking in sent a message again to annette that there is a problem my love i cannot come because while boarding, police officers started checking my bags and I had some money with me. So they found lots of money in my bags and they are accusing me of money laundry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it was like, so you had money all this while and you never wanted to use it. He was like, Annette, I wanted to make a surprise to you. That is why I never told you anything. But last night when I was very hungry, I decided to open my bags and take some money. And while opening the bags to take the money to eat, I didn't know that room had some cameras. So the camera saw me. <laughs> And that is how they got to know I've got the money. So right now they are putting me in a lockup. I don't know what to do, my love. You have to look for another money and get me out of here. Guys, Annette tells us at that time started crying, got a stomach ache, started shaking, was so scared. Oh, where is she going to get all the money that she took from people? Pay them back oh my goodness guys i told you a guy brings money talks block immediately it will never ever bring good results to you it will put you in a complicated situation just like we see Annette's situation right now some of you right now are saying she's so stupid but i told you her biggest mistake was falling in love with the guy allowing him to manipulate her even at the time she told him about the job she does the business she does that is when he knew there is money here i remember in the past i told you even if you are a lady who is well established you are a rich woman financially stable but you want a man by your side you join online dating apps there is no need to tell a guy everything about your financial status 
because online dating apps guys you need to be very careful it needs a lot of wisdom so Annie told Joe I no longer have any money I can't send you any money but right now I have to think on how to solve this whole situation so after talking to her aunt Anne told her aunt I need to go to Mwanza myself and <laughs> when I heard that I was like you were supposed to do that the first day <laughs> you were supposed to wait for this guy in Mwanza not sending him the money so came into a conclusion that she is going to Mwanza decided to again borrow some money so that can buy a bus ticket to Mwanza bought a bus ticket and in the morning started her journey to Mwanza so that can go meet Joe and see how she can help him because till that point Annette never knew was dealing with the scammer so started her journey and in the bus sent a message to Joe that Joe I have decided to come so that we can solve this problem oh my god when joe heard that was like don't come here you have to get out of the bus right now return back to the Islam. because when you come here they might also put you in lockup they will involve you with money laundry what are we going to do if we are all locked in and it told him how can they lock me up you know i'm going to explain to them everything that you are my boyfriend you're from america and they are going to understand because i am a tanzanian the guy never wanted to listen and at that time they were chatting and it had arrived in morogoro <laughs> in the bus he kept on telling her do not come please return so that you can go and look for money to get me out here and it told him i am coming and then reached a point there was no network so they did not communicate then anet arrived in zega and zega and mwanza is not all that far so when she arrived in zega network was there found loads of messages from joe telling her to not go <laughs> eventually told herself i think i need to get out of the bus look for a place to sleep and tomorrow morning return back to Dar es Salaam and also at that time I think something had clicked her mind that she might be dealing with this karma called the aunt and I was like I thought going to see this guy everything will go fine then I'll come with him then he will give me the money to pay these people but what I see he is insisting of me not going the aunt told her my daughter no that guy is a scammer you are dealing with a scammer and i told the aunt yes right now i feel like i am dealing with a scammer because if he was a real guy why not allow me go to Mwanza and we solve whatever problem then go together to Dar es Salaam so she took a lodge and slept in Nzega in the lodge then the next day took a bus back to Dar es Salaam so after arriving in Dar es Salaam had to call Joe and told Joe you are a scammer thank you so much I gave you my heart I felt sorry for you I did all in the name of love due to the love that I had for you but this is how you pay me wrote to him very 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 bad words and told him God will pay me back but joe was like no i'm not a scammer what are you talking about my love i still want to marry you you just look for money <laughs> so and it was like you're still talking of money you are a scammer and from there decided to block joe deleted all dating apps deleted his number on the phone and everything so that is how Annette got scammed guys so after deleting everything decided to start looking for money to pay back people and God helped her got the money paid those people got her freezer back got her TV back and life kept on moving forward but all this was happening I didn't know anything I was there thinking that maybe this girl found someone or maybe this girl decided to give up on love or maybe this girl decided to take a break so guys I told you that after being scammed deleted all dating apps but one dating app remained which is F dating yeah so when she returned after two months on the dating apps found lots of messages on F dating 
and among of the messages she found on F dating found a message from this German guy. So tells us after reading his message, decided to respond to him because he is a cute guy, young, 32 years old, started chatting, everything is flowing. The first day they started talking <laughs> on WhatsApp, they spoke for two hours. She was cooking and oh my God, she felt at peace, then made a video call. And after making a video call, that's when she realized that those video calls that Joe was making, they were fake video calls because when she spoke with this German guy on a video call it was totally a normal video call so they started talking February 2023 with this German guy and <laughs> when she was telling me about the German guy she was smiling <laughs> another mistake guys this lady is in love again because she told me i love him so much i will make you listen to her voice notes <laughs> talking about this german guy she speaks in swahili but even if you don't understand swahili you can just you know hear how happy she is a lady in love <laughs> you can notice her <laughs> So she talked so good about this German guy that he never ever <laughs> asked her for nude photos. She loves him. He loves her. <laughs> All good, good, good. <laughs> and this German guy has told her that he's going to Tanzania August this year to meet her because he loves her so much and he can't keep on suffering like that. Told her, I know you're tired, my love, of waiting. I am tired too. <laughs> so August this year, I want to come and meet you. And when I come, I want to marry you so that we can start our life together. <laughs> So after listening to Annette about this new German guy, I had to give her a piece of advice that be careful and put this German guy onto a test. So she did a test on the guy and guess what happened, guys? <laughs> the guy has started ghosting her and Annette came to me with this whole story to ask for an advice. I was like, Bella, I'm so sorry. I did not tell you anything. It did not click my mind to talk to you. But after being scammed, that is when I had to take a notebook <laughs> and a pen go watch all your videos i could watch in the morning afternoon in the evening i watched all your videos i've got lots lots of information that is going to help me through my journey but i also still want your guidance that is why i had to advise her about the german guy and you see guys what happened i've told her not to bother to look for a guy and even if he returns we're gonna keep on testing him but my feeling tells me that this guy is another player someone that wants to waste her time play mind games maybe wants a lady to talk to only not that he is interested in a serious relationship because such kind of guys when you come with serious questions <laughs> you start testing them that is when they take a step backward <laughs> like how he did yeah so that's how you deal with them scammers so guys we have reached to an end of our today's story thank you so much for watching till now i really hope that you have learned something please don't do same mistakes you have got a chance to come across my youtube videos please watch them because if you're on online dating apps you need such kind of information that is how you gain experience and know how to deal with different situations when they are presented to you while on online dating apps so if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something 
Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You will learn a lot. Please comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.